Hi John, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Welcome to my food forest sanctuary. Let's have a little walk around that can tell you about it. So when I first moved in here, it was just a, a engineered slope all across the back here and a, and a Home Depot block wall across with, with a, about two feet thick of ivy and a lot of rats and some really nasty trees that weren't doing well. We removed 12 trees and we brought in about 12 new trees. This uh, beautiful Valencia orange was here to start over here and uh, over on this side this pineapple guava was here which is just getting ready to fruit they're almost they're almost ready but uh we have a few more weeks these are uh, not a true guava but they're absolutely delicious and they make fantastic margaritas uh, one of the first things we want to do is to change the slope from being just a straight 45 degree angle to something that moves so we started dumping a lot of soil over on this side and we excavated into the hill and moved it over here and this was actually going to be a feeding area but once we sat there we turned around and looked and it was probably the worst view in the garden looking back at the house so uh, a friend of mine said hey why don't we make why don't you make it a pond and I thought it was a great idea and, and uh, it's been the best decision we made having the sound of the water is fantastic I always recommend including uh, water in your garden and call it a food forest because uh, we've got a lot of edible uh, plants in here. If you want to come back over here, um, you can hardly see it, everything's gotten so thick, but in the far corner over here there's a guava and then we have a pear tree. Look at this pear tree, it's just loaded with pears. Uh -huh. Oh wow, yeah. And they're absolutely delicious, it's, they're all ripe right now. This is a persimmon tree here and it, uh, it it uh, just came from the rootstock, so it's not a very good persimmon, but it provides beautiful shade. And here we have a, a fig tree with some uh, beautiful ripe figs. Um, I love to just, you know, eat right out just of the garden. Just give a bite. It's absolutely delicious. Best mm. fig I ever tasted. Mm. We come over through this way. Another thing we wanted to do was part of creating a sanctuary is creating shade in a, in a canopy, in it, which creates a ceiling in a garden. So. Um, we are blessed to have this really beautiful ash tree that rises above everything. Underneath we have a ficus, we have a, a dombea or a, a pink ball tree next to it, which has beautiful pink hydrangea-like flowers in the spring. Um, it's a lovely a day odor cedar, which really creates a real vertical accent in the garden. Hmm. We have a beehive. These are very important to our gardens and our backyards can be the place where uh, we help restore habitat. So uh, we're going to move her into the sun here. This is the perennial border, which is kind of late in the season for that. But over here we've got a kumquat, a lime, a, a bear's lime, which is a little bit of a sweet lime, a Myers lemon, and uh, dragon fruit against the fence over there. A, a whole vegetable garden here with uh, zucchini and tomatoes and peppers. And, uh, and then we've got over here a pomegranate. And I like to just put the plants into the landscape as part of the landscape so that we don't have the orchard in one corner and these uh, fruit trees serve to kind of screen the vegetable garden and uh, we create different rooms that way. And this is my favorite space in the garden. It's a little quiet area where I'm able to meditate, take time to just relax. It's shady most of the day, a little bit of sun in the morning, but um, this uh, is a really nice place to hang out. Hmm. So that's, uh, that's about all I got to say about Garden Sanctuary. Have a great day, everybody.